Hello there players! Welcome to District 17's Player Guide. Today we are on Chapter 3. The King of Swords. Let's see where we're going to, players. Or what's going on around us. How are all you visitors so far? It looks like we've got like a situation where someone might have spilled some milk, but it's long past due to be cried over, right? Either you, the NPCs, or whatever. Now, this is a guide for anybody who's trying to explore their way either to manipulate or escape the Matrix, which is essentially life. Life is but a game, it's just up to us to figure out, you know, how we're gonna play it. Or at least find a way to quit playing it anymore. Transcend this shit, right? Just remember to be safe and stay suspicious. I'm your bus driver. I'm taking you on a route. So if you want to get on the bus, go on ahead. But don't be starting no shit on my bus. Right? Right. So, player, let's see what's going on with you. The energy guiding you right now is the King of Cups right here. Right? Right. I feel like I haven't done this in forever, so I'm probably going to forget a bunch of shit. Now myself. Oh well. It will happen. What's the influence? What's influencing the energy right now? Six of Wands reverse. Feeling like you're slightly a loser, or something didn't go the way that you were planning it to go. What do the NPCs see right now? Lack of commitment or a divorce, excommunication, the Hierophant reverse, possibly a Taurus, right? What's their aggro trigger? The moon! Secrets! Illusions! Might be using some shit that you might not be aware of. Chicos and walkthroughs, the stuff that can help you right now. There's a lack of closure going on, and that's probably what's going to help a lot more than what you think it is. Think of that as a cheat code right here. Don't say nothing. You ain't got to explain shit to anybody about anything. Amen. Okay. So, hidden levels bonuses or influences you need to be aware of during your little adventure through this chapter, right? Queen of Swords. How the fuck is this tricky? Anyway. Sorry, Edward. Queen of Swords. Being very decisive. Using logic. Yeah, okay, I got you. Players, you're going to be using your logic and tuning into your own emotional feelings to sift through this bullshit aggro that the NPCs might be casting on you. Right? Right. Hidden treasures and enemies. Three of Cups. It's your neighborhood witch bitches, right? The kind of bitches who will come out of nowhere just to gossip and stuff. Be very careful about that, players, because we all know where that shit leads to. People who squawk together, talk a lot together. No wonder it looks weird. Like, you should be down here more. You should be up here more. There we go. Sorry, I'm so technical with my cards, it's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, neighborhood witch bitches, right? They might be plotting, strategizing, talking, gossiping. Beware of those enemies, players. The final boss and their weakness. The justice card right here, right? Libra energy, head over heart decision. Hmm. Spoils, item drops, and rewards for the player. King of Pentacles, ew. Somebody a little bit savvy. You might be getting the bonus players on this level. Just gotta keep your eye on that goddamn prize. Mm-hmm. Next level spoilers right here. I'm not laying these two, but they drop down. There might be some lack of clarity when it comes to moving forward that you're not aware of just yet. When it comes to this next chapter we're going into, chapter four. Ugh. Princess of Wands, Reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Mm, 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 mm. Might be dealing with a mouth in the near future for the next chapter, players. That's never good. Especially if they mean what they say. Usually people who are good at running their mouth, but you know. Alright, players. 
Let's get into this. You got a lot of ground to cover, apparently, it seems like here. Lots and lots of ground to cover. <clears throat> this energy guiding you right now. King of Cups right here. Using your emotions to validate what is around you. Like trying to figure out what will happen with this lack of a victory that's going on right here. And there's a lot of illusions, a lot of lies, a lot of stuff that you aren't aware of going around with you that you need to sift through with a lot of logic and reason. Cut out the bullshit and like keep the rest that's necessary with the Queen of Swords right here, right? And I feel like this Three of Cups with these witch bitches right here is what's influencing the next chapter to have a mouth involved. It's like they're conjuring up like a super witch bitch right here. The ultimate witch bitch. The one that talks months the most. The dark side of the moon. Or Aries, depending on how pissed they are, really, honestly. Um, and that's where this lack of failure is also like uh, getting ahead from. It's just kind of like, hmm... It's like someone's gonna open their mouth and let them know something that like you didn't know just yet, and that's what deals with the illusion. It's just like I heard this, and it feels somewhat right, but I need to make sure, you know. Ugh. This final boss right here too. It's like they like the Queen of Swords also represents Libra too. So this is you making distinctions, and this is the distinction becoming um, activated of sorts. It's like because you took the measure to act like the Queen of Swords, their weakness is making a head over heart decision in this, using your head to lead to the future King of Pentacles, which is your spoils, your item drops, your fucking bonuses, your rewards, what you get for like delegating this shit so like fucking well with the Queen of Swords and Justice right here. However, this also requires a lack of closure in some cases when it comes to this uh, lack of commitment the NPCs see, right? So, let us continue, players. King of Cups right here, checking your shit to see what happened that did not bring you some sort of victory, right? There is distance and ether and shit. Hmm, Nine of Swords, Reverse, it's like... It's like whatever the situation you got out of with the Hermit Reverse chapter, players, it is far behind you and that no longer uh, dictates what's going on, like you're no longer cursed, cru la 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 la, if I could talk today. You're not tortured. You're not crucified. You're not in a situation that's bringing you a lot of mental anguish that's all behind you, but the influence of this is because there was no victory back in the day, I feel like. Like, whatever this exposure is. Ah, the hermit right here. That internal self-reflection needed. Which is what you're doing right now with the king and realizing there were some ideas that you were definitely wrong about when it came to what this influence was. It was like you were expecting something, but because you didn't get it, there was no victory. And I have to go inside and figure out why am I feeling this way. And in a way, it's kind of affecting you because you're dragging something that's far away back to deal with again. Yeah, almost like how many times do you have to slay the dragon before you decide it's dead? <coughs> Stop using resurrection spells and leave the dragon dead. It's dead. But it's like, there's something you can't get over either. That's why you're sitting here with the King of Cups validating your emotions as well. Just something in there. Now, what the NPCs over here see with you, right? With this lack of commitment with the Hierophant. Mind you, it's like they're acting like teachers right now. But in a malevolent way. Kind of like a... Like a teacher who... Uh, it gives you a little bit too much of the sleaze side or maybe a person at church who get, who just rubs you the wrong way is just like, you know, why is this person in church? Like, they kind of, like, they don't fit the mold. Like, there's something about them. Like, they're a nice person, but they just rub you the wrong way. You know, there's something there where it's just like, I don't know what this feeling is, but it's giving me that whole fuck that feeling as well. And I'd always trust that one, that gut desire, you know. Mmm. Ugh. 
Sorry, I had to take a dose of medicine. It was time. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Okay. They got a lot of secrets they're keeping their mouth shut about Page of Wands again, and I feel like they're going to play a role in the next chapter now, once they decide to expose some of that shit by talking some nonsense. They're just waiting. Mm. Biting their tie. That's creepy as fuck. Okay, well, whatever. What's going to be the aggro trigger for them? For anybody unfamiliar with that phrasing? In video games, there are certain things like World of Warcraft, right? If you got so close to a character, it would trigger their aggro, and then they'd come after you with an attack. But these secrets and illusions, right? That's what they're using for their trigger against you. Lack of knowledge and insight. What? And reaps nothing? Reproduction that is not with no knowledge or insight. So what? They're going to threaten you with like empty shit? Is that it? They just elude the things? Goes from the 8 to the 7 really quick too. It's like... Okay, players, they're going to... They might just try to say, oh, well, I know some shit about you. Call them out on that shit. Just be like, yeah, Queen of Swords. Just be like, what the... What do you mean? What are you talking about? What kind of shit do you know? Please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Just let, just tell me. Please. Let me call your bluff and make sure you're not lying. Because if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, I'll talk some shit. You know, you're doing the whole Queen of Swords where you're going to be examining these secrets, these so-called secrets, that they're going to try to buy their time with and wait for with the Princes of Wands in the next chapter, right? It's like you could, you're smelling the bullshit a mile away is what you're doing. Like, you can already smell that it's coming. You're just going to be very decisive in what you know. Chica's a walkthrough. World reverse. This lack of closure. Lack of, like, things feeling finished. And I can see why you're not leaving them finished, right? To get out of this black and clouded state with this Ten of Swords reverse. And come into temperance with fusion and chemistry. All right, let's say they want to try to come up and say some shit, right? Or allude to some things that you might or might not have done. Whether or not it's true or not, you're, it's your job to just kind of sit there, call their bluff, and if they can't come up with anything, just leave it alone. Um, this cheat code's talking about um, trying to come out of uh, a distressful mental situation with patience. However, patience does not mean that you don't go and question and make sure that what they're saying um, is something authentic or bullshit. Uh, patience has nothing to do with you making verifications. You see, though, there's a lack of closure with the communications part. It's like, it's almost like a dread of what they're going to say, but then it's like, as soon as they say what they're going to say, you're coming out with the Queen of Swords right here. And what are you going to do with those Queen of Swords? The hidden level bonuses and influences right here. Uh, you're going to check to make sure there's no new beginning with a Knight of Cups? But no, 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 no. It's the lack of commitment right here that's catching their attention. So what's happening here <clears throat> is the Queen of Swords is saying there will be no new beginning in this situation, but you got to do it in a way that's charismatic, that is letting somebody down easy in this sense in order to cool their fucking jets when it comes to their aggro and shit, or at least let them understand that, you know, like, not to get their hopes up for whatever, because they're coming and seeing that there's a lack of commitment. They got secrets and enigmas they want to share, but they're waiting for the right time to open their mouth and be a little mouth right here. The problem is, 
it's not going to benefit because they don't know anything about nothing and it's not going to bring them any sort of whatever and all you have to do is be gentle in your assessment just be like hmm well i really don't see any reason to start anything right here but maybe later on we could try to discuss something a little bit better or something a little bit that's more productive for the both of us so we both get something out of it you know like use that charisma of the knight of cups to your advantage Okay, hidden treasures and enemies. The neighborhood witch bitches, right? The ones who are conjuring up this one right up here. The ultimate bitch, right? Uh, they're all gonna act like they just heard a can of tuna open and they just woke up. They're just gonna be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. Like, dedicated, adamant, king coins, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, okay. I've laid another one down for that. Like I like I have to. That's fucking ridiculous. The audacity. Yeah. All right. Like these three cards right here. It's like they acted like they don't know what the hell happened. Like they didn't know that there was any conflict. They were just like I thought we were all coming together as a family. Like even though they've been talking, it's just kind of like they're shocked that there is no conflict, but there is recovery in this. It's like they're on the lookout listening for that tuna can to open because there hasn't been any and they need a little pick-me-up, like little energy vampires. Be careful of these kind of enemies where they act like they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Everyone knows what the fuck they're doing even when they don't, you know? These bitches are no different. They're just trying to use that to their advantage. <coughs> Final boss and their weakness player. Justice card. This head over heart decision that you're going to be making uh, will bring out some treasury or discovery right here. It might help you make bank. Get you out of a ten of wands situation where it's torturous and miserable. Hmm. It's like, do you want money? Or do you want to be s cool? That's your decision. It makes more logical to sense on this side to want um, to be out of the misery and torment you're in. However, that requires you leaving behind which you might like a lot, which is money. But money is a currency. You can always get different fundages of other varieties. Hopefully nothing illegal, but if you got to go that route, man, I'm not going to judge. Like, move swift and be quiet as you're doing your, uh, you know entrepreneurship ways no judging you know like, like you do what you gotta do but you have a choice between having money and having peace of mind and not having to deal with like bullshit spoils item drops and rewards king of pentacles Ooh, we got three cards for him um now he is like the provider kind of sense kind of person he is kind of like the uh, person who's got the fundage, the money, he's stable and stuff. Thing is though, is that like he has a hard time navigating away from this tower when it comes to like who he's connected with, like family or community, harmony, chemistry with the nine of coins. Right? It's like someone finds their identity in a group. It's like, if you're worried about your financial independence player, be very careful about that. Because I think that's the main issue with the NPCs that are surrounding you right now. It's like, they don't feel the commitment with you. And that, like, you're being part of the group. Like, you, if you're trying to be the king of pentacles right now, they want you to be part of the nine of coin. They don't want you to be completely independent. And that's causing a bit of uh, irritation with them all. That's the real issue. The problem is, with their side, though, is that they can't come up with anything in order to gain that coinage from you as the king of coins in order to make themselves feel like you're part of the group. Like, whatever value you have, you have on your own. But the NPCs expect you to, uh... Give some of yours back to the community. Like, look at this kitty mother right here. She's so fucking pissed you're not eating at the table, you know? Um, now... Not all NPCs are hostile, but they do have programming, so you have to work with the computer, right? Um, if you're playing a video game, you can't just go and rob a bank 
or like piss on a cop card because that's not program programmed into the computer setting or it's not programmed into the game there are only certain things you can do in the game so imagine this being like a village setting and instead of you actually since you've moved into into the community or whatever investing into the community you're just investing into your own shit the npcs are programmed to like start noticing that and not like you very well for it because they feel like hey if you're living in part of this community you contribute to it too it goes against their programming in that case they can look at you as a miserly figure so you got to look at it this way i don't feel like these npcs are in an energy right now where they want to be hostile with you to hinder you from whatever you're trying to do in the matrix like whatever these npcs are what this player is whoever this queer is if you resonate or not uh, these NPCs are just following a typical program. They're not actually out to um, hinder you of sorts. However, um, this could easily build up into the next chapter with the Page of Wands reverse, and this could come up later if you don't take care of this. Like, you don't have to do much with them to appease them, but you do have to show that you do have some sort of uh, loyalty to the programming of sorts, if you will. Think about it that way. It's like you're earning karma on Reddit or Fable. That kind of shit. Think about it that way, right? Alrighty. So, let's go over all of these plans, y'all. So, clarification on the influence or the energy guiding you right now. Yeah, you're kind of like, yeah, you gotta examine and realize that there's gotta be just, a, you can only take a little bit of what you plan out. You gotta leave the rest for everybody else. This is definitely about, like, putting some effort in to make allies with NPCs at this point, players. Um, the ones that are currently surrounding you right now, they are expecting some courtesy back in return, really. The and the energy influencing that right now, the Eight of Wands, like, just this little bit of action is going to make a drastic change. Like, whatever um, victories you feel like you haven't won, just this little bit will cause the NPCs to um, change their perspectives away from you, and it'll totally shift their attitude towards you as well. You just have to give them a little bit. That's all they're asking for. It might be hard for you, but, like, once you get into the motion of it, like, I think they'll be more understanding of where you come from when you have to, like, wean them off of your fucking energy for a minute. Because, you know, sometimes you gotta give a little bit in order to take back more. Um, now, the NPCs, I feel like, when they do see this, like, lack of commitment with you, um, they will try to lead you to your doom. Purposely. They're just waiting for that one slip-up. Oh, God. Is this like the fucking Pokemon Megadron music? Because it sounds like it. Yeah, it is. Hold on. I need to, like, calm the bass. I was almost done with the reading. You rap bastard. Okay. So anyway, yeah, they'll wait until you're all fucking tripped up on this little journey of yours to just be like, ha, ah, page of wands, reverse, activate. We're going to use this against you, right? What their agar trigger is, how that'll resolve, though, they will not let you live this shit down. They will not, like, if they find out one little thing, one little slip up they can about you, they will never bury it. They don't have anything right now, but you're going to have to change their attitudes towards you in order to keep them from using shit against you in the future. It's like, hmm, let's see. The cheat codes and walkthrough. Ugh. Hmm. Give me a minute, because I'm really trying to figure that one out. Because I really want to feel like, don't be rooted here for too long. You still have two swords in, the, in that boat. You got three. 
No, four. Which would lead to, like, the four of swords, which is right down here, right? But, I don't know. I just feel like players, like, be careful where you root yourself. You know, because you got that lack of closure. Like, the world isn't finishing itself kind of shit. Be very careful, right? Alright. Alright. Hidden levels, bonuses, influences. Mmm. Do a mind check on a motherfucker, man. Like, for real. Check where they are with their vibe. Because I feel like someone wants to come in and just take your pentacles from you a little bit. So you're going to have to, like, watch how they come up to you. Like, they better come correct and not with some bullshit. If they go come with bullshit, you better check them. Because if they can catch something, if they have anything they can go on to catch you slipping up, they will not bury it. You know? Let's see. Hidden treasures. Enemies. Mm. I feel like you might have to pull the swords out yourself because I think you'll be like a little bit surprised at like who hurts you. Nah. Like these swords are already done been pulled out and the heart's all wrapped up and bandaged. So it's just kind of like... You still have some time before you're completely, like, healed up from your bullshit, right? That's probably why they're, like, sniffing around and shit, because it's just like, Oh, this seems like a very well and functioning person. What the fuck is wrong with them? You know? One of those things. Final boss and their weakness when it comes to this, uh, head over heart decision. Oh! I think this is, they might just be like, good job. Here's a flower crown for you. Congrats. Six of wands. There you get a victory. Mmm. Players, I feel like... Getting out of the misery is what brings you the victory, because that's where the dude's going towards. But it's like he's a victor, but he's got to share his spoils with other people, too. It's just kind of like, you know, like... Like, you know, you might not even be intentionally being selfish, but people will just be drawn to that, you know? So keep that in mind. People want you to share your spoils with them. Um, is it fair that they want you to share what you've earned? No, but it makes for happier people, because then they leave you alone and just be like, Oh, they're such a nice person, they share whatever. And in reality, it's just like, I'm just trying to cover base, you guys, don't try to kill me. And take what's mine. You know, that kind of vibe, right? Um, you might have to uncover some truth over here with the, uh, spoils, item drops, and rewards. Hmm. I feel like you really have to be honest with people, players, these NPCs, and whoever else is in this shindig. I feel like you really need to be honest with people and, like, just try to open up and let the truth fly out. But it's, like, it's really hard to do if you don't take the fucking thing off of the bird's face. It looks like, uh, it looks like freaking Dr. Dre headphones. Those Beats by Dre things. That's what it looks like. Just a little bit. All right. Spoilers for the next chapter. Page of Wands. This is all, just like the King of Swords, this is all about you just having to open up and be honest with people and, like, share what you think and what you gotta say. It's like these NPCs want a piece of you so bad. And there's, like, so many around you that you actually have to appease some of them in order to survive a little bit. Um... Yeah, this uh, page of wands, she's got three for the next chapter. Uh, lack of 
love right here, lack of that connection, using their sage abilities in order to possibly trap and confine. Mm. Be very careful, players. Like, how you deal with these NPCs and other folk, uh, it depends entirely on how you want this next chapter to play out, because I really feel like these NPCs might honestly get agitated because you're keeping so much to yourself. And that is not a good thing. Like, you're going to have to find a way to, like, either appease them or get away from them, but honestly, I don't think that there's any way to get away from them. And if you slip up in front of them, oh boy, they're going to use that shit with a passion. So be very careful. Um, but I will see you guys later. Remember to stay safe and stay suspicious.